This one's called Orion. I don't know what it's... Hang on, I might just press the return so you guys get the uh, the text at the beginning. Oh, here we go. Hi, Captain. Glad you came. Oh. Where are my manners, guys? If I'm going to be playing at Captain's, I need my Captain's hat. And uh, between you and me, the last time I got this hat out, I got an eye roll in return. And uh, you can all guess who it was that rolled her eyes at me. You know, I don't know. I think it's pretty... Actually, this hat's too fucking tight. What the hell? <laughs> okay, we're doing away with the Captain's hat. Never mind. You may turn the power on now, sir. Hmm. Power. Sweet. Main power switch. Tom, we have access. This is called Orion. I found it on Rock Pepper Shotgun. Or rather, Rock Pepper Shotgun found it for me. Um, I got a bone to pick. Uh, yeah, check systems. We'll do that in a minute. I've got the floor now. I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. A few years ago, I, um, for some reason, the Rock Paper Shotgun site flipped out and banned me because I think they thought I was trolling them or something. And so I made a video called Screw Rock Paper Shotgun. And within hours, they'd found it and and sort of made a snide post about it on Twitter. And a bunch of people got mad at me. Yada yada. And it's just, it's frustrating because for all the nice things I've said about them and all the lovely, you know, games I've found on their site, they had to look that one time when I say screw them. I mean, are there people monitoring YouTube uploads for like bad p press? Because here's another example. I recently put up a video of Road Rash uh, and called it uh, road Rash is better than Road Dead... Road Dead Redemption? <laughs> road Redemption? Whatever. Something like that. Words to that effect. And within a day or two, I've got one of the Road Redemption developers coming on there saying, Hi, I'm Paul from the Road Redemption team. Uh, you should probably play our game before saying you know, things like, Oh, this game's bad. First of all, the title's a joke. And second, again, are you waiting for these things to be posted? Are you hovering above YouTube, waiting for fucking things that are relevant to you? And, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it shits me. How many videos have we got? A thousand? A thousand five hundred? I don't even fucking know anymore. We've been here for eight, seven or eight years. And just without fail, people seem to, like, miss all the nice stuff you do say. And believe it or not, I do say nice things um, in videos from time to time. And I really mean them. And they just miraculously get you when you're saying something. Fucking, uh, systems check, anyway. Nope. Oh, all systems are go. I think. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Alright. This would be great if you had a physical fucking board with the switches on it. Rotate service structure. Cool. Oh, alright. Um, where's that button? No radio? Oh. Uh, we're up here somewhere. Firing jet. Rotate. Don't worry, guys. Eventually, I will get so good at this game that I can actually just do this by, by memory. Oh. God. This could get bad. It's... Oh, there we go. Uh, rotate. Yeah. I think... Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry. <I'm laughs> this game, was always, what I was about to say, was too forgiving. I think if people like me start playing it, they should, um, it should, if, if you, if you button mash in this game, the ship should blow up. Oh, cool. Uh, let's just activate these babies. Sweet. Man, I feel like I'm in control. I know it doesn't look like it, but I am. Cool. Oh, damn it. I should let you turn the power off again. As a means of starting it all over again. Uh, but the orbit radio, no, up oh, comes. Yep, brilliant. Should we? Should we really do that? I don't think we're ready. Where's the radio button? I know it's up here somewhere. Maybe it's. Maybe it's not. Oh, base control! <laughs> you can't put smiley faces in mission text. Oh. It's the Nazi space program. Oh my god! I could have I could have left that turn down where you guys couldn't hear it, but I'm all for honesty on the uh, on the Barry Denon site. Where the hell's the button? Oh, oh, did do? What do we do now? <laughs> Hang on, load, fave load. I'm gonna load my favorites. It's gonna be some Korean pop band with six hot singers. Oh, here we go. 
all dressed in matching uh, outfits. If you remind me, I'll post a link to what I'm talking about. Oh. Oh, I know, I know this one. I, I saw that close... No. Oh, man. I keep thinking I know what to do, but actually I really don't. Vent valve's closed. And remember, travel safe. Hello, everybody. I'm Scott Manley. This is Orion. Oh, oh. Oh, I have to wait for the main countdown to reach zero? Where's the countdown? Oh. Get ready for the acceleration of a dream. We are entering space. Whoa. Cool, T minus eight seconds. Oh. Where are we going? Holy shit, we're actually going out there. Can I control the ship yet? He said something about the arrows. Oh my God, I can actually steer this thing. Cool. This is all right. This is brilliant. Keep your nose up. It's got music. Oh, first aid separation. Where's that button? I'm doing it. Oh wow! I had to really think on my feet. Then. <laughs> oh shit. Perform! Oh, hang on, what do I do that? How do I even know what that is? Where do I get it? Oh, cool. I thought it was firing jet. Oh, okay. Okay, well, at least we Okay, this is all pretty good. Set- oh, oh, how am I supposed to do that? Um... Oh, cool. Um... How do I know what the hell to- <laughs> Is that- Is that remotely right? Cool, starting orbit. Cool. I'm just gonna sit here saying cool, cool, because I haven't got time to be commentating. I'm too busy trying to win the. Punch it! I should, I should be wearing gloves, and this should be a physical cockpit. How cool would that be? <laughs> uh, there we cool. See, I'm stuck. Slow. It's a memory game. I'm slowly remembering where all the buttons are. Well, let's chat with Mission Control. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's block our noses. <laughs> Do we have to? Oh, uh, orbit radio. What? What? Oh, okay. I can't enjoy the view. If I have to turn the ship to look at the view, we'll, we'll be off course. If I could turn my head, maybe. This is great. See, why can't the developer of a game pop by when I'm going, this is amazing, you've done fantastic work with, like, very little, like, Look how effective this is. It's a cockpit, yet it feels great. It's fun. Cool sound design. Nice graphics. Why can't anybody fucking hear us say things like that? But they have to pop by when I say, hey, guess what? Your remake of a game is shit compared to the original. Wait, I'm kidding, by the way. I'm sorry, I'm gonna roll bone to pick. Wait, so where are we going? <laughs> shit. Do I have more instructions? No, there's nothing there. Okay. What if we go off course? <laughs> I'm just trying to keep the green thing in the middle. I can't wait to see our destination. Oh, look at this! We've got a... a, a, a whatever the hell that is. The Earth and the Moon and the planet? If that's even Earth we're taking off from. Man. I want to play Starbound. Not so much for you guys. I don't think it's really... Starbound got this, like massive peak of interest right when it came out and then people seem to stop giving so much of a shit about it this is understandable you, know, you can only be into a game for so long but um so i don't know about playing it for the channel but uh, i just the other day was looking and thinking you know what that uh that game might have been improved since the last time i tried it out i might uh give it a bit of a give it a bit of a yank on the chain i don't know is anybody playing starbound to, uh, still tell me how it is tell me if it's worth dipping my head in that lake again I say that because dipping your toe in the water is another fucking expression I hate. Thanks, you manky prick. Your toe has ruined the water for everybody else. That's how I feel. <laughs> We've only been here for four minutes. Come on, ship. Ship, this is your new owner speaking to you. <laughs> that's uh, what I should... Okay, that's what I should do with David. Is set his ringtone to a sound of me saying, This is iPhone Plus. What a wanker. Go <laughs> by chucking his phone around. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's gonna be. I, this is a good thing David doesn't watch our videos because, um, I'll tell you what, he sees me abusing his thousand dollars. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> oh, guys, you need to help me cook up some pranks. Oh, come on. This ship, this ship, this ship, this ship is equipped with rockets and thrusters and many devices. <laughs> The captain is up in the cockpit at the joystick. He has many, many vices. I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind. When are we going to get to the fucking planet? Can we... What if I leave the controls? At least Kerbal had time acceleration. No, no, I like this game, I really do. Long live Orion, guys. It's brilliant. It's beautiful. Was it, by any chance, named after that recent... Uh, ship that NASA tested, the Orion capsule? Anything to do with that, guys? If so, it's a very fitting homage. You've definitely, uh, rep <laughs> you've captured the essence and spirit of space travel. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not, I don't think anything's funny. I get into this weird mode where I just can't stop, uh, is it mania? It's not mania. I'm not, I know the difference between mania and it's, no, I don't know. It's a kind of, it's, whoa! I think I've tried describing it before. It's when I realize how ridiculous I'm being. And I can't really, uh, snap out of it. Have we- do I have to do anything else or are we basically- Why can't I control the air conditioning? Hey, mission control, what are we doing here? <laughs> Give me a briefing. Well, this might seem inter interminable to you guys, but it's like you can skip ahead. I can't. I have to live this. Even if it was a video where I said, oh, I'll just trim the middle out. I still have to go through that, which is uh, why I don't do too many trims on things these days. It's sort of a kind of, you know, if I have to suffer, then surely it follows that you do too. Who said that? Um, we suffer for our art. Now it's your turn. Something like that. Words to that effect, I don't know. <sighs> surely by now the Earth would be disappearing and we'd be seeing our destination. Not forsake me, oh my darling. I only know I must be brave. For I must face a man who hates me. God. Seven minute mark, guys, come on. Oh, you reached to Mars. Oh, is that? They suck at me in. I thought there'd be an orbit where I like I saw another planet. Oh, okay. It's for a Ludum Dare. That's one of these contests that I'm talking about all the time. Hey guys, you did a good job. I like it. It's very cute. Hopefully, you make an actual game at some point because that that was really cool. Imagine if you could turn around and see a co-pilot or like look at the kitchen. <laughs> the, the, the what do you call it on the spaceship? The galley. No, I really like it. I think it's a fantastic little interface, and hopefully, you come up with something uh, something something more. <laughs> What's the word? I'm substantial. Yeah, look, you have my full respect about this game. Who made this? Orion is a game made in 48 hours for Ludum Dare by Diego F. Goberna. Diego, you've done a brilliant job. I love you. See, why can't... Why can't people see these nice messages? It's fucking...